Hello everyone, um, welcome to Zenjo Gratitude Tangle Tile um, and I'm hoping that you're all well and uh, I'm going to move this aside for a moment because today I'm going to set up my apprentice tile. Now you don't need to have a tile, okay? So Zentangle produces different size tiles. This is an apprentice tile. This is a bijou tile, so that's one of the larger ones and the smaller one. Um, but you can use, if you don't have a tile, you know you can use a sketchbook, a notebook, a journal, or you can use um, just some nice quality paper if you can get hold of it. Okay, I'm going to pop my bijou tile on here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw with a pencil just around this bijou tile and a bijou tile is um, two inches by two inches and they fit very nicely onto this apprentice tile and it means that you can either tangle four tiles all at once or you can take four days to, to do a tile and do one a day. Um, and it's just a really nice time to slow yourself down and give yourself a little bit of me time, a little bit of self-nurture. Okay, so there we are. So I've set up my tile with those four sections. So what I want you to do is, before we start tangling, is just to slow yourself down. Just relax. This is about gratitude, that first basic step of the Zentangle method. So I want you to relax your shoulders. If you want to shut your eyes, you can shut your eyes just for a minute. Just for a minute. Focus on your breathing. Nice and relaxed. Slow everything down. You know, our crazy brains and the thoughts that whiz around and we rush from pillar to post. And this moment, this little practice of doing a little gratitude tile just allows you to slow and be kind to yourself and choose something that you are grateful for. Now today I've been out in the garden um, because we've actually had a really nice sunny day so I've cut my grass and I've done a lot of chopping back of bits and pieces um, so today I'm grateful that I have a garden. Um, I'm also grateful that it was a dry, sunny day, a bit chilly. So there's lots of gratitudes for me to have. Okay, so you can open your eyes and I'm now going to choose one of my little tiles that I've drawn on here, one of my little sections. And I'm using my Zentangle pencil. Um, these are 2B pencils and they're little short pencils because they're easier for us to handle and hold rather than a long unwieldy pencil. Okay, so I'm going to do a string. Um, I'm going to do the same that I did on the last video and I'm going to do a curvy wavy one. What's lovely is you can make them all sorts of other curvy wavy ways. And who knows what I'll do uh, with the next one um, there. So I've drawn, let's make this a little bit bigger. So you've got, oops, I've gone a bit too big there. So you've got the view of this one um, tile. And of course you can do it just on an individual bijou tile as well. So I'm picking up my Micron 01. And today I'm again going to define, redefine that string line that I did just gives you a chance to slow it down and you know when you first start tang, I was going to say tingling then it's probably because I've been gardening and I have to admit since I've been doing the, these videos I've gone oh Joanna you really should get a manicure obviously that's out the window at the moment um, and then I thought you know it really doesn't matter I'm out in the garden. I'm a bit of an outdoorsy girl. Um, okay, so I'm now going to do an aura on the inside. And I'll probably change this up at some point. 
I'm always thinking of different things to do. Yeah, so I apologise for fingers and nails that maybe don't look as delightful as some lovely ones I see on other people's videos. Who knows, maybe I'll manage to get them looking lovely. Okay, so the word I'm going to put today is I'm grateful for my garden. So I'm actually going to do two words and I'm going today to try not to write a different word than I said I'm going to do like I did on the previous video. Um, when I started talking about something and I ended up writing that word but what it did was it actually makes you realise that actually what you say and what you think is what happens. So thinking of your gratitude and as you write it, envisage what, what that gratitude is. Stop and think about it. Um, imagine it, you know, if it's something like this with my garden, I sort of no, I've got a lot to do with my garden. I only moved to this house back last summer. And the garden hasn't really been looked after for oh, probably eight or nine years. So, um, so I'm having to stop now because I'm having to think about my word. There we are. I'm not a lettering expert. But it doesn't matter. My garden lucky my garden looks out over fields and I've got a beautiful view the Welsh hills if you don't know the Welsh landscape it's varied and you get some areas which is sort of mountainy not, not hugely that's usually North Wales and where I am in mid Wales you get more rolling hills um, not hugely populated. We have a lot of sheep in the fields, uh, which are nice and on the hillsides. I'm just going to add in a couple of little dots here. I might add something else afterwards. Okay, so my garden. So the first tangle that I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to turn my tile over. So I'll write it on the back of here so you can see. And I'm going to do poke leaf sort of links with my garden and that's fine and I just I actually decide as I'm talking to you what tangle I'm going to do because that's the way I approach Zentangle um, you know don't need to plan don't have to have any expectations so where am I going to start these little poke leaf I'm going to start them down here so poke leaf I'm going to do a nice stalk. I'm going to pop a little cap over the top and then starting sort of just below that, about the middle of the stalk, I'm going to bring this up and it's sort of like a an elongated upside down heart shape or like um, spades in, the, uh, in a deck of cards and you can just keep tucking these in quite nice because you can make them round and chubby or you can make them um, long and thin you can sort of squish them to fit in all sorts of areas um, and everybody well, you know when everybody draws poke leaf poke root they're always different always different okay so what's lovely about this is when you're looking at that word and I'll go, oh, I've got a bit of a glow on my face, to be honest, because whilst it was cold-ish, the sun was out and you, it's deceptive. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just hollyboring my little leaves underneath that border. So I'm pretending that they go all the way underneath there. Some more this way. Um, poke leaf is a 
rectangle that's um, created by Zentangle headquarters. They've got something like 170 tangles, um, something like that now, I think. Um, and I generally, I seem to tend to stick to headquarters tangles probably more. It doesn't mean that I don't do other ones, um, but it's it's lovely to experiment and try all the different tangles but you know don't put pressure on yourself we've got enough pressure on ourselves and our lives so you don't have to put pressure on yourself to learn you know a thousand tangles or learn every new one and forget about the ones that we've already got i mean we've got so many gorgeous tangles that can still be adapted and you know, Zentangle is about just, I'm going to turn my tile that way. This is about doing it for you and your gratitude tile is definitely about doing something for yourself. So I'm now going to just black out the little areas I've left around my poke leaf. And this just gives it some solidity. And gives it some definition and a bit of sort of drama um, in a nice way, okay? And so take your time with your blacking out. Um, now, gradually getting more and more people on board with their gratitude tangles, tangle tile. And I think what's lovely is the Zentangle community comes together. And even if you aren't, if you've never come across Zentangle before, and this is one of your first times to have a little look, thank you um, and welcome. Um, really know that Zentangle is a wonderful, mindful art that you don't need any previous um artistic experience, the Zentangle method allows anyone, anyone who can hold a pen in whatever way, can create Zentangle. And that's just such a gift, such a wonderful thing. And made up of very simple strokes, that repetitive action just helps our minds to slow and for us to focus on that one action of making a line and one stroke at a time, it actually um, engages, this is keeping things very, very, very simple, engages the right side, the creative side of your brain um, and allows the of active thought process side of your brain to slow, to rest. It's still working, but we're quite often in that side of our brain and the creative side is so, so important to our well-being, to us being calm and gratitude um, goes hand in hand with that. And you may not have seen one of the first videos I did about the importance of gratitude, but just starting to have a regular habit of acknowledging, writing down what you were grateful for can help reduce the production of stress hormones the ones, the cortisol and, and other hormones that are produced when we're stressed, when we're anxious, by 23%. And by doing this, by just using your pen, looking at the ink coming out of the end of the pen, just focusing on that, it's a rather good way to um, help reduce your stress, isn't it? Okay, so I've got those, I've done my poke leaf, um, and on some of them, I'm going to do it on this one, I'm just going to add some weight to this side of the leaf. And I'm going to do it on, oh, I've missed out a little bit there, I'm going to do it 
just highlight that and we're going to do it on another one mm, no, that one will do okay so now um the tangle that i'm going to do now is i'm going to do um i think i'll do betweed again another zen tangle headquarters tangle okay turn this over and so between i'm going to draw a line down the center and i'm going to do just divide it by three three lines so i've got sort of six sections and i'm going to work in one section at a time okay so between what you do is you start at a wide point on one line and you're going from the wide line down to the point of this line so have a little look it goes down and I add a sort of very slight curve you can do them dead straight and we do it again from the wide point of that line bring it down okay and you just keep doing these always coming down to the point okay always coming down to the point and I'll leave it there I'm not going to do something there I might do something. Let's wait and see. I'll decide when I've done this, really. And okay, just with each section adding in. And I might manage one more to go in there. Okay. Do this one. It's funny, I don't use between that often. I think I did when I first started tangling and I'm looking at the tangles that I first used and saying, do you know, Joe, come on, let's go back and use some of these. Let's explore some of these because they are so lovely. And what's lovely about Betweed is you start getting this sort of, it's called a meta pattern where you're doing one thing, um, but it ends up looking like it's something else. rather rather nice and you know with your gratitude tangle tiles it's not about um, choosing 101 tangles and it really do you know it really doesn't matter you want to do other tangles fine go ahead that's absolutely fine do your favorite tangles if you want to do the same tangles every day that's absolutely fine as well okay so I'm going to leave it like that and now I'm going to add some shade I'm just going to leave those areas that's absolutely fine because we can do something with shade so I'm picking up my pencil so I've got my pencil and shade starts to add that two dimensions no it doesn't it adds a third dimension see you get Joe as Joe is sometimes I'm a bit dippy I say things and I think gosh what do I sound like you know I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about where I'm adding the shade. Um, just have a little look. Generally, if you add graphite, which is the darker of the pencil, the dark, the shade, will add a depth. So it will look like an area is receding. And this is what gives it its third dimension. It starts giving it some life and structure okay as you can see suddenly they start looking a little bit different so i generally with poke root poke leaf add a little bit of shade just under that little cap but keep the stalks free from graphite and where a leaf goes over another one i'll add a bit of graphite because it gives that impression of it going underneath As I, you know, there's so much to do with shading, um, which I cover in my shading class, which I always have a lot of fun with. And so, check out the classes either on my Facebook page, Zen Joe Zen Tangle, or on my website, and um, that's zenjo.uk got a whole host of different ones and if there's something you want to learn you know just pop me a message pop me an email 
And if I can do it, I'll teach it. And if I can't do it, I'll learn about it. And then I will be able to teach it. And that's what it's all about, having a go, isn't it? Okay, so I've done most of my little leaves here. And I'm going to add, just pop this one here. Along this bottom line here where I've got the white, I'm going to add quite a dark line of graphite so that it can be quite dark underneath here. And this just makes it look like those um the the word section rises above those leaves you can see it makes it look like these are going a little bit further underneath okay and now with um between this is a funny one to shade sometimes and right, i'm just going to sharpen my pencil um with shade shading you know it really always helps to have a really nice sharp pencil because then at times like this you've got you can see the difference now excuse me for my sort of battered fingers coming across there on your screen so I'm going to add a line of graphite on the top lines of those section on the mm, yeah I'm going to do it there okay so you know any time with these videos if you want to stop pause it have a little think that's absolutely fine um, that's the great thing about these videos isn't it you know you can stop stop them and work at your own pace there's no I'm gonna just pop a little bit there a little bit here you know there's no sort of speed that you have to tangle some people tangle fast some people tangle slow and it's whatever you're comfortable with do you know if it takes you a week to do a, a tile it's absolutely fine if you can do 10 tiles in a day and that's absolutely fine as well although i suspect your hand would be rather achy after that and you can see the importance with adding this shade is to make sure that you don't completely fill your bitweed with grey graphite. If you do that, you'll get just a flat grey. Um, to make the shade work, you definitely need some light to contrast it. Okay. So, once you're doing this, just relax, breathe. Do you know sometimes? It's really worth actually just saying to yourself, and you don't have to worry about anybody else listening. Well, I do, because maybe lots of you are listening, I don't know, but um, I'm not worrying about it. You know, I can just say, as you're doing this, do you know, I'm grateful, I'm grateful for my garden. And if you want to say some other things, you know, I'm grateful that it was sunshiny today. I'm grateful for my friends grateful for my students oh there's so many things okay so i've done oops i'm wafting about all over the place nearly done this i'm just going to add in some dark on the bottom corners of this bitweed and i'm going to just soften that with my tortium And there we go. That is my um, gratitude tile for today. And it is for my garden. So um, good luck with yours. Um, and don't forget, you can post your tiles either on Zenjo Zentangle or use the hashtag, and I'll pop it across here, hashtag gratitude tangle tile. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.